So here's the deal. If I can get out the door here. I got a couple things I gotta do today. It's bright out here. My future's so bright. I almost need sunglasses. So we got snow last night, but not enough to make a difference. There was uh, like an inch on the driveway and my trigger's three inches. So no plowing, but I do have to go put plow markers up on a couple more driveways um, that I didn't do. And I need to take this tailgate off because it's gonna be a lot easier to plow in the winter and see this back blade and where I'm at without that tailgate on there. So that's the plan. Got to get that thing off there and go to Ryan's to get my plow markers because they're in his truck from when we are setting up plow markers on our accounts. So I need to go get them from him, go set up plow markers. There. Now the tailgate's off. I'm looking out the back window when the plow's up, I'll be able to see exactly where it's at. And I can back up to garage doors without whacking the door. It'll make it much easier. Okay, so here's the deal. I found a little problem here. Um, even with the tailgate off and the plow raised up all the way, it's just not up high enough that I can see the plow. I still can't see it. Um, just barely. It's only down a couple inches, but I just still can't see it. So this is, this is my solution. So the back of the plow, you see I got the wing or the plow markers right here and I got the one on that side. Well, as I look at it more, there are two holes. Okay, there's a hole right there. And there's, if I could show you, so I'm still trying to use this camera angle. I can get, um, there's a hole right there and a hole right there. So, those two holes there, I have no idea what they would be there for. But what I'm going to use them for is I just went and bought another set of these plow markers. So, I'm going to put plow markers there, and then when it's raised up all the way, I'll see it. And then I'll know exactly where that plow's at, and I'll be able to see it no problem looking out the back window. So here's the deal. Got another set of the plow markers. I just went to Napa and picked these up, and I'm going to bolt these on right there, and I will know exactly where that plow is. Now, somebody did make a suggestion to me in yesterday's video when I did the uh, ultimate plow and setup video and said just bend the two end ones backwards and then when you back up, as soon as you see those in your mirror touch the garage door, um, you'll know that you're back far enough without the plow actually hitting the garage door and then you're good to go. Drop your blade, you're good to go. And that's awesome, that'll work out great, but I have some spots where I gotta back up the vehicles, drop it and pull it back. So those aren't gonna hit the vehicle because the plow is eight foot wide, it's wider than a vehicle and it'll just be easier and simpler Simpler. Is that a word? Simpler? Simpler. Simpler. I don't know. Anyway, so 
it'll be easier for me to just put these on and look out the back window. I'll be able to see these. And as soon as I know I'm back far enough, boom, drop the blade, go. So I'm going to put these on and uh, it should fix the problem. These holes don't exactly fit these bolts, just off by hair, so... Clean these holes up a little. No problem. Okay, so there it is. Looks kind of ridiculous, huh? Pretty crazy with all those plow markers on there, but you know what? I don't care about crazy. I care about being able to see so I don't damage any property. So that's gonna work pretty awesome. Definitely visible from the back. Uh, people coming up behind me, but more so, definitely visible from sitting in the cab backing up. Um, I do have, and I plan on putting it on, I have this reflective tape. I want to put it on like across the arch there, the edges, just to have that reflective on there. I probably don't need it, but I like the idea of it being there, so um, really not a bad thing to have. So um, I know people are going to ask me, why don't I, uh, I love the way when I move, it just follows me. Anyway, um, I know people are going to ask, why don't you just put a backup camera on there? And if you go back through my videos, you'll see when I had my black GMC 1500 with the boss plow in the front and the salter on the back, I had a camera system on the back of there. And the problem I found, because I'm not one of those guys that waits till the storm is over and then goes and plows one time, um, I plow with the storm. If it's a really bad storm, I will plow with the storm. I'll go through my whole route, and then once I'm through it, if it's dropped another three inches because that's my trigger, I'll start all over and go through it all again. Um, so since I'm out in the nasty shit and I'm plowing with the storm and it's you know it's coming down, you get that lake effect snow here, and it co it comes down heavy, wet, thick snow. Um, the problem is, and the problem I found with that backup camera, is it would pack in with snow all the time and it would get crap all over it and it just, you couldn't see um, in the monitor on the dashboard and uh, I tried putting, I cut like rubber deflectors to put over the top that came out far so it didn't get in there, it didn't matter, sometimes it even made it worse because it would channel it up in there. Um, I, I tried fabricating that thing all different ways. I put it in different locations and it just never really worked the way I wanted it to. And plus then I have to buy the camera, the monitor. They're pretty cheap nowadays or they're not bad on price, but I got to get that. And then I would have to run the wiring um, through, uh, down underneath the cab, up through the firewall, tie it all in. And you know, why do all that crap and go through all that when I've already had bad experience with them uh, trying to use them for plowing and they never seem to work for me. So why go through all that when I can just screw on a couple plow markers here, look out my back window and see perfectly fine. So um, that's why I did it this way for anybody that's wondering and is going to ask me why didn't I just put a camera on. That's why. So not a hell of a lot going on today. The sun is out shining bright and uh, it's going to be, I think, 40 or 41 today and then in the low 40s all the rest of the week. So we only got about, probably about three, four inches on the vehicles and the roads, but, uh, or on the vehicles and the yards, but on the roadways, half inch to an inch, maybe. Same thing with the driveway. So I didn't go out plowing. I didn't go out and uh, plow anything, but uh, I will be definitely getting you guys some footage with this back blade. A lot of people have commented on yesterday's video, the plow setup video. Um, there really isn't any footage with back blades. There's, I think, Stanley Genetic put out a bunch with, uh, with the abling and with the uh, short iron and the different types of back blades he uses with the wings that extend out and stuff. But for just regular um, fixed position back blades like this, the wings that don't extend out, just regular back blades, there's nothing on it. When I first bought this thing, I looked all over for videos on it, like I think all of us do when we buy new equipment, uh, and I couldn't find anything. So I'm definitely going to get as much footage as I can. I'm going to figure out some spots to mount some cameras back here. Uh, so that I get you guys some good footage. I have a bunch of GoPros that um, I can just throw one of them back there and I have remotes for the GoPros that I can keep right in the cab with me. That's how I've done them in the past for views when I had the camera on the roof and I got you guys those plow videos. Um, 
I had that's how I do it. I have remotes for it. So I just set the camera up there and I leave it. I can hit the remote and turn it on, hit the remote, start it, hit the remote and stop it. So um, you can also do that from the app on your phone. If you guys have GoPros and you don't have the remote, you can bring up the uh, app on your phone, Wi-Fi link it to the camera, and then just use your phone to do the same exact thing. But I just I have the remote, so and it's super simple to do it that way. Um, but uh, that's what I'll do. I'll set a camera up on the back here some somewhere, somehow. I'll fab something up. You guys know I will. And uh, I'll get you guys as much footage as I possibly can. Um, maybe some daytime stuff, some nighttime stuff. The daytime stuff will be much better for sure because you'll be able to see it better. But uh, I'd, I'll just get you whatever I can. So uh, that'll be it. Not really much much in today's video at all kind of a boring one but it's been a boring day for me so i got up early went to the gym and might go for a second wave of the gym today when billy gets out of school if he wants if he feels like going but uh let me show you guys something real quick now i mentioned to you guys before that i switched over to camo the backpack blower racks and then closed trailer i only switched one i really want to switch the other one because i want them both to be camo but this here is the three-piece trimmer rack that i said i was switching to and camo so uh so yeah, that just came in today. Just as I was getting home and I pulled up, uh, the guy was dropping it off. So that's the three-piece camo one, and that will be uh, that'll be going in the enclosed. I don't know. Whenever I get a chance, we'll do a video on that. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, button, leave a thumbs up, and comment if you want to. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can. We'll see you in the next one.